Hi, I finished a net galley arc that the hype is saying is going to be the uh, global phenomenon of next year. It's a thriller by Matthew Blake and it's called Anna O and it comes out on the 1st of February. There's an awful lot of hype about this thriller. And the um, idea is fascinating. It, it really, really grabs you. Um, a young woman, Anna, she killed, allegedly, she stabbed to death her two best friends while she was sleepwalking. And ever since that event, four years previously, she has been asleep and able to wake up. She's just been out of it almost you know so it, asleep for four years so she's got the, the name sleeping beauty beauty in the um the media you know she's got this it's a case that has attracted so much attention so that is a premise are you guilty if you do something when you're sleepwalking you know so that's like the whole idea of running around this book um dr ben prince He's a forensic, I think he's a forensic psychologist, but he's also an expert in sleep related crimes. And he wrote a book um, about Anna's case that attracted attention. And now the Ministry of Justice have decided that it's time for Anna to wake up. Four years is too long to be asleep. It's time for her to wake up and stand trial for murder. And he is the person that they want to bring her back into the land of the living. Um, so you've got this, this whole idea and you have got twists and you've got betrayals and you've got Ben's perspective, you've got different people's perspectives coming in. You've also got Anna's diary, her journal, from the times leading up to that fateful murder. Um, there are lots of references to Shakespeare, um, Greek tragedy, which, reading the book, you can, I can understand why they're there. I can, I can relate to them. I can see why they are included. What I didn't get is the references to Harry Potter. I, why? There are so many references to Harry Potter. I do not know. Um, it doesn't seem to fit in with the book. So if, if someone's got any idea of why we've got all these Harry Potter references, please let me know because I'm at a loss. I, I just do not understand what Harry Potter has got to do with this at all. Um... The first half of the book, I I, I enjoyed, uh, as the the sort of the little twists, the reveals. The you, I felt that I was, I thought I was going down in one direction, and then suddenly there'd be a link, there'd be a connection that I hadn't seen. Um. So yes, I the first half of the book I enjoyed. The second half of the book, I felt, I felt it dragged on a little bit. Yeah, that could just be me. I felt that um, I was being toyed with, you know, sort of kept kept on a leash. To you know, you, you're going to sit and you, you're going to sit here and read the end of this book. You know, um, I just felt it dragged on a little bit too long. Um, by which time I'd already decided, yeah, I know, I know where this is going. And so by the time this big reveal came, I, I didn't, well, it, it didn't really, it wasn't a bombshell anymore because it had seemed to be dragging on too long, the second half of the book. But maybe that was just me. Maybe that was just me. I don't know. I know it's got, it's got a lot of um, um, pre-release reviews. It's got a lot of five stars. Um, and... It may, maybe it is just me, but I, I felt the first half of the book was stronger than the second half. And then Harry Potter? Why? But having said all that, it is an enjoyable read and it does, you, you 
it does take you you don't expect the when you start reading it in the beginning you don't expect that's where you're going to end up and i think it has got the potential to be a hit it it is it will be a hit for next year i'm sure it will be and it also it is almost you could almost see it as a movie it's got the the plot would lend itself perfectly for a tv movie or a hollywood movie um so i think it is going to do really really well um it's just that i just felt that it was a book of two halves and the second half wasn't as strong as the first but that was me and who am i i just sit here <laughs> so that is Anna O. Oh, comes out on the 1st of February. So, happy reading. Take care.